Welcome on board our brand new Lufour 382 Grand Large. This is a world premiere. We are in La Rochelle and uh, this is the first time we show uh, the brand new 382. Um, what are the key features of this latest product that uh, we developed with Lufour? Well, let's start with this uh, first platform. It is uh, as wide as the 40, 42 feet wine and not as the 38 in the market. So one of the first things we wanted to fully, fully exploit was the idea to give the maximum uh, space on the outside to have uh, the um, to have all the all the enjoyable time they can have on a platform like this one. So uh, an easy access to the water is guaranteed with a integrated ladder and again the width which is uh, as wide as the transom almost. Um, we talk about transom, so I just want to introduce the. Uh, this is the 27th boat that we are developing with Umberto Felci, so it is already a continuous uh, cooperation with uh, a talented naval architect who has been very, very successful over uh, the past 20 years, not only uh, in the design of uh, the full yachts, but also in uh, racing yachts, and this is where. Uh, most of the latest development of the hull shape and uh, appendages and sail plan are coming from. So really, Dufour is trying to integrate the performance from the race boats and to put them into uh, the latest Grand Large to guarantee a faster and better performing cruiser boat. Because we want to make sure that our owners fully enjoy the time and the sailing pleasure. So um, going back to the features, compared to the uh, previous one, which was a very successful model, the 380, we increased the, the space for the steering area. So the enhancement has uh, 10 centimeter more in terms of uh, uh, space be, be around the backstay. We added, they're not visible in this version, but they, they will be seen probably in Paris, they will be for sure. We have also extra seats which are foldable, so they can be lifted up and create the same width or put it down when they're in use. A fixed and integrated cockpit table where we can have the, uh, the additional GPS or still, like in the other model of the Dufour range, you can see that we have the possibility of customizing the end part of the Cummings with the instruments that we want, or that the owner wants, sorry. So, three data, GPS, or any other sort of instruments like the uh, um, bow thruster control, they can be all added and put it in place. Another thing that is uh, clearly visible from, uh, from a first impression is the length of the cockpit seats. So, it's longer than, uh, it's longer than the previous boats uh, and the width. So, really, all the cockpit, it's uh, a sort of a um, convivial area that we have and we have designed in order to maximize uh, its uh, level of comfort. In this version of the boat uh, you can see two winches which are optional because again the idea of the latest uh, Dufour is to have a sailing effortless approach. What does it mean? It means that uh, we want to guarantee the maximum performance uh, with the minimum effort. It means that I am the owner and I should be able to sail the boat on my own without the need of extra people on board. So, if I want a bit more performance, like in this case, I can have the extra winch. Otherwise, I can simply sail the boat uh, by, my, by my own only with the two pit winches. How? We can see going in the front, because in this boat we have integrated, like on the 310 and the 560, for example, the uh, self-tucking uh, jib. So, you see an integrated recessed area dedicated for this uh, part. Recessed because we maximize the, the use of the, of the jib, so we have a bigger, a bigger cell area. And at the same time, it is... Uh, self-tucking so it's really an effortless approach it's only by the pressure that is going from one side to the other so I will not do anything apart from pulling the sail out this is really fantastic and it will change the world of sailing the second thing that we can see on this boat is that we already integrated the flat deck furling system 
The flat deck furling system allows to lower down the sail area so we have a better performance. This is coming from uh, uh, Umberto's advisors of the race boats and uh, we increase the sail area. So even in this case we want to make sure that the boat uh, with a simple self tuck in Genoa has the maximum sail area and has nothing to lose uh, against uh, the possibility of having uh, the side rails. Side rails which are integrated and visible and they can go up to 110% Genoa which can give uh, an extra sail area for those who really really want uh, more and more performance. But again, the sail plan has really been designed to be fully at the, at the optimum performance with the tall mast and with the self tuck in Genoa. <coughs> Another characteristic, which is a continuity of the style of our uh, Grand Large Range, is uh, the deck shape as we called arpege because the, the arpege was uh, is a milestone of the Dufour range uh, was developed with a double volume uh, concept in the design of the coach roof and so we wanted to reinterpret that idea into let's say a more modern but still uh, the same signature of the most successful model ever made by Dufour so this allows us to have a wide fixed uh, front edges that brings uh, incredible amount of natural lights down below. Same as in other models, you can see that my belt is at the height of the boom. This is coming still from uh, the solo sailor uh, sail plan design for two things. It allows us to have really the maximum accessibility the, to the mainsail. So when I, I pack the main, I'm here and I'm the uh, at the right height, so I can really do it without uh, having to climb on the mast. And secondly, I still, if I if I draw a line, an, an imaginary line from the bottom of the boom up to here, I'm still increasing the sail area of the mainsail. So we are maximizing the performance, but at the same time we are simplifying the way of using the sail area. Going back, we see a very wide main sheet track. What does it mean a wide main sheet track? That you can really have the full control of the mainsail shape in any condition and in any reefing condition as well because you can really control the mainsail, especially when it's very windy, without uh, losing uh, the efficiency of the sail. But now, let's go down below, where really, the maximum innovation and flexibility has been introduced uh, in the development of this boat. Because we're gonna see one model, but in reality, we have been developing six different boats. So it's six in one. Come with me. So now we are inside one of the six possible layouts of the 382. Um, when we start developing this boat, uh, this is the real heart of the market. So it's the ideal size of the boat for any sort of customer. But at the same time, because it's the ideal size and the big, biggest and uh, most wanted size, it's also the most difficult to design because you have to take some decision that um, force you to discharge version that usually other people like. So the effort of the four was the opposite, was to design any possible version that any customer could choose for its own use. So the one we see here, it's uh, we call the challenge to the 40 plus feet. Uh, it's a three cabin, two heads. It's a challenge because it's a 38 feet boat that is really challenging bigger boats because it allows to have two toilets for uh, such a small boat that is usually the size of a 41, 42 feet uh, yacht. 
on the same size, on, on, the, uh, on the same concept, uh, we have developed uh, also the idea of having uh, only one toilet, which is the standard one, and on the other side, we can have uh, a chair table, as it is here, but uh, sitting in the front, uh, so classical, and the possibility of having an oil skin locker in the back and uh, an additional wine cooler, so as an option. So really having uh, all the features of uh, bigger boats. Um, but still this is not enough because as you can see we have a longitudinal galley with 180 liters fridge with two drawers. So really the maximum simplicity in order to storage and to, to better define the cooling of uh, these two volumes. And at the same time we can have an alternative layout which is a more traditional with the L shape galley which is in place of the second head so as I said really any customer can choose the layout and the type of use that he wants to do with the boat so the other flexible solution that we wanted to integrate in the saloon is the table yeah because we discussing with our customer we realized that most of the time you don't need the full length of the table when uh, you are under navigation it's quite the opposite you need to have an easy access to the table and then only two or three seats so this is why we designed this table and then we with the, which is still one meter so it's uh, wide enough uh, to have a comfortable uh, use of the space and at the same time you can have a very easy and independent access from both sides and you can simply extend it in one second and it becomes 1.4 meter long so this is changing completely the length and the use of the table and then we have oops, we have here the full use for maximum eight people so really in a 38 feet you can have from the ideal couple solution where you can have your intimacy and uh, uh, the perfect use of the space up to eight people so the fully uh, you can invite all your guests okay so we are here in the galley as we said we have all the space we want with dampers, lockers and behind the working plane we have another lowered surface where we can put extra um, extra stuff like pasta or uh, oil bottles or anything and the carry on top can be lifted and can be used as a protection also for the cooking in the version of the traditional galley, all this area becomes the sofa with a double opening table and the galley is in place of the second head and the char table is facing aft where literally we could put, we could say here, so with the fitted to the bulkhead, uh, to the head bulkhead. From the dining position we slide one more position the seat aft and we simply do this and we have an extended sofa with a chaise long so here I can really have a 2.6 meter sofa where everyone can really enjoy relax and uh, this is the size of a sofa of a 50 feet boat and not of a 38 so this is really when we said that we wanted to fully exploit the modularity of this boat this is really where we went to the maximum extent of that then you can see without uh, my explanation that another thing that we tried to achieve was the sense of space so we added a double door instead of the single bulkhead because otherwise the boat usually they look like that and uh, uh, to maximize the sense of space and uh, to give really uh, uh, 
a volume that it's uh, typical of bigger boats and that can be can can allow you to live inside without the feel of being constrained this is thanks to this double door and of course thanks to the uh, top fixed edges that gives lots of uh, natural sun, natural light to the inside last but not least we have Unfortunately, only to imagine it, because yes, we can see the front cabin, which is fixed standard and it's very wide. Last but not least is the possibility of having uh, only two cabin. On the, in the two cabin version, you can still have either the longitudinal galley as we have here or the traditional one. When we talk about uh, two cabin version, the toilet is modified. We have an additional bulkhead which is closing this area. And all the access to the aft cabin here, it becomes a great shower. So this is really a super comfortable area. This part is closed and uh, the locker, it's fully exploitable up to the bottom. Going back to let's say imagining the single cabin version in the cabin which is this one we are gonna have uh, uh, we will exploit the beam of the boat left uh, so we can uh, both sleep longitudinally for two meters or transversally for two meters this is made in order to allow also uh, for example American customer to have uh, that type of use because they don't sleep uh, longitudinally in the aft cabins so we almost finished our visit of the 382 uh, what we can say about it simple enjoyable in under performance and especially designed to suit any of the customer needs six different layouts inside in order to have any possible layout from the galley to the cabins to the toilets that any customer can choose so this is really a flexible innovator, as we call it, and uh, has already been heavily appreciated by the first couple of days of the show, and we hope you're going to like it as well. Thank you.